Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Shally here and I just wanted to hop on today and discuss something called self-concept. So I was recently watching this video and this girl was talking about how self-concept will literally change your life. The way that you think about yourself, you will start to see things in your reality that reflect that. So if you think of yourself as somebody who like can't lose weight, like you gain weight just from looking at a candy bar, it's gonna be really hard for you to lose weight. If you think of yourself as somebody who's like unlovable, that people don't love you, that you're annoying, you have these this concept of yourself in your head, it's gonna be really hard for you to make genuine friendships and have genuine relationships. And something that she said that took me the freak out was about the whole concept of having haters and having people who want to see you lose and like are preying on your downfall and this and that and there's a lot of reasons why somebody would have that self-concept maybe they did have jealous siblings growing up or jealous peers in class or just certain things but like at such a young age you don't understand or realize that the reason why people are being jealous or rude to you or putting you down is because they're projecting your own and their own insecurities onto you so if you don't realize that as a kid, then you start to internalize their jealousy and internalize their negativity towards you. On top of that, it's literally in our media and our music, like Mean Girls, the movie Mean Girls, or just like the Mean Girl aesthetic in TV shows, or like how much music is out there talking about haters this, people wanna see me lose this, the ops this, this and that. It's literally so embedded into our culture of people just feeling like the world is against them and people don't wanna see them win. So I can understand why one would feel like that. And I felt like that for a really long time and it just was getting exhausting. I felt like every time I was making new friends or everywhere I would turn, even like within like my family, I would have be faced with rude comments and non-supportive gestures and just people like downright or outright saying that they're jealous or like, why can't I have that? Why do you get that? And this and that. And I'm like, yo, what the hell? We all can win. Duh, abundance mindset. But again, not everybody even has an abundance mindset. So anyway, so the self-concept, having the self-concept of like, everybody's jealous of you. You always have haters. People are always in competition with you. That is going to result in you continuously seeing that in your reality. And um, more situations and more people will come into your life to confirm that because that is a concept that you have of yourself. And when she said that, I, you know, I started to realize this because I started to catch myself because I, I never liked saying people were jealous of me because I just didn't, I didn't want to like believe that. I think of myself as someone more humble than that because I really think of the world and everybody's like there's more than enough for all of us we could all win there's no need to be jealous of other people because there's more than enough so i never wanted to believe that and i never wanted to think that but in my household growing up like the term jealous or they're jealous of you or not everyone wants to see you win or people are praying for your downfall like that was like a very prevalent theme in my family and just like in general growing up so that really instilled into my head and as of lately I've definitely been trying to work past that and like not think that of people and like understand why people are the way they are anywho I have done a good job of that and it is definitely working like yesterday I went into a store I went into Sephora and when I went to Sephora like immediately one of the guys working there was like super nice like super helpful gave me like a like a compliment it was like and just being super nice and like helping me around just for like two minutes and then when I was looking and looking for stuff two other associates walked past me and they're like oh I really like your dress like or I really like your hair and I'm like oh thank you thank you and then um an like maybe like five minutes later another associate came to help me and she was like kind of a little standoffish but like eager to help I guess I don't know is really really misleading and she was helping me and like she was like putting like some makeup on me and she was like your eyebrows are really nice like i'm honestly really jealous of them and i'm sitting there like what, the f what do you even say back to that it was so awkward and then like at the end of her helping me she was just kind of rude and just shooed me off and so i'm like okay look there again someone's jealous of me and then i'm like no something still deep down inside of me is expecting people to be jealous of me even though i've been expecting and hoping and changing my mindset for people to be excited for me and compliment me and like lift me up, which I have been doing. There's still parts of me that I'm still cleaning up of still expecting people to be jealous of me. And I came to that realization today that that is still within me from seeing this girl's freaking video, thank God. And I actually came up with a list of affirmations that I'm going to start saying to myself and just really believing and like instilling this belief in myself so deeply so I can finally just clean up the rest of that 
internalized, I don't know, jealousy complex or whatever it is. I'm gonna read to you guys the affirmations. I don't know where the list of affirmations is, so I'm just gonna say it off the top of my head. People love me. People are excited for me and want to see me win. People value me and they appreciate me. People adore me. People are always lifting me up. I am admired and cherished. I always encounter kind and supportive people. Those are the affirmations that I've started saying to myself and that I'm truly embodying and changing my self-concept to believe because it's no fun going somewhere and always going places and always having your guard up thinking that someone's gonna hate on you or someone's gonna put you down or it's just not cool. It's not a good feeling being like, oh, haters again, this and that. We don't. We don't deserve that. We deserve loving, supportive people who are excited for us, who are happy for us, and because we are excited and happy for ourselves. I just wanted to touch base on that and talk about the self-concept work that I've been doing, and it's definitely been helping. It's definitely been changing my reality because I'm noticing it. Like I said, although I was still running into that old reality of my old self-concept, I'm running into much more of nicer people and more supportive people and more loving people. So it's definitely working. If you're struggling with this, you're struggling with other parts of your self-concept, I would love to know what ways and what methods you do to help this. So leave a comment below. We could discuss it, talk about it, figure it all out together. And um, thank you so much for watching this. Please like this video and share it with somebody who might be going through this. It really helps my channel. And I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.